difficult of matches. He has now overcome Doug Mountjoy in the final and become the Embassy World Champion 1981. Steve Davis, snooker champion of the world. Do you want me to say it again or has it sunk in yet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You've got all night, don't worry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you really believe it could happen like it's happened here in this final session? No. <laughs> no, I, I thought uh, that Doug was keeping with me all the way and I thought it was going to be a battle all the way to the end. And, and Doug, I went 6 nil up and I thought, right, I should win now easily. And it, all of a sudden he keeps on putting balls and, and he kept three frames behind all the time, which was a lot better than six frames behind. And then it went two frames behind at the interval, every time. He's sick as a pig because I could have been four frames. <laughs> I think you got your supporters worried for once. You kept them quiet. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we told them to keep quiet because um, as quiet as possible. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. But then, I mean, the point when Doug's really sort of gets going, when he got a break of one, two, and nine, you must have thought, oh my goodness, here he goes. Yeah, and he, and he came over and asked me in matches as well. It made it even worse. <laughs> Anyway, just stay there a minute, Steve, because I know everybody here has responded to the magnificent fight and the play of Doug Mountjoy. Doug, uh, friends. say it again. I got friends. <laughs> you, I tell you what, you've got a lot of friends, not just here in the Crucible, for the millions who have been watching this on television. It was a marvellous fight, and uh, obviously a very disappointed man. It, was it really the start of it all when you really couldn't get going that uh, put your rod off? Well, it wasn't the fact that I couldn't get going. It's uh, Steve started off so well, I, I just couldn't hold him, you know. Well, I don't think anyone in the world could have held him those six frames. And I was lucky to come away 6-3 and uh, never got the lead, never looked like getting the lead. I just sort of hanging on in there, you know. And uh, this evening, he just played too well. You really had to come out tonight and get one pretty quickly, hadn't you? Really, to have a chance, uh, I needed to win the first, but uh, I haven't won the first with the, uh, the four sessions we've had, so <laughs> I didn't fancy my chances. <laughs> anyway, Doug, marvellous fight, and can I now, in fact, uh, ask the presentation party to come out onto the stage, and the presentation, first of all, to Doug Mountjoy, first of all to Doug Mountjoy, and I hope they got a big fan here, Mr. Christopher Corey, Managing Director of the Sponsors, WD Nature Worlds, accompanied by Mr. Peter Dyke, head of the sponsor of the Park. The check to Doug Mountjoy as runner-up of £10,000, plus £1,200 for the highest break, plus £5,000 for breaking the all-time world championship high break record. £16,200 to Doug Mountjoy. And if Steve Davis can stop signing autographs for just one minute, we've got some for you. To Steve Davis, the cheque for the winner, the 1981 Embassy World Professional Stuka Champion, £20,000 and the most famous trophy in the game. Steve Davis. <laughs> 